It's happened again for Southampton. Another fucking 9 0 hammering. This time, Manchester United are the team to hammer. Southampton 9 0. Two sending offs, a whole host of goals. And to be honest, you cannot remember all that. I mean, to be honest, if anyone's trying to analyse that game and remember everything that went, every fucking thing that went on. I mean, I can't even, it's, it's a job to even remember all the fucking goals that were scored in this game. It's unbelievable, but it's just good to get the win, to be honest, for Manchester United. It doesn't really change anything that we've scored nine goals in this game, because if we don't, I mean, it does boost our goal difference up, which could be good for Manchester United, but besides that, I mean, the three points is the same three points as another game of football, so we just needed to get the job done this evening and win the game, but... This game was stemmed from a sending off after two minutes and as soon as that sending off, or I think it was two minutes or three minutes, as soon as that sending off happened, it, it was there for Manchester United for the taking to go out there and win the game and I didn't expect nine goals obviously, but still to, to come away with victory was the main aim of the game this evening and the circumstances have just changed the game completely. Now, we put a decent lineup out Manchester United. I believe good enough to go out there and get this job done. Cavani starting, Rashford and Greenwood starting as the front three. And Paul Pogba was rested for this game and in came uh, and in, I mean, and Fred and uh, McTominay and Fernandez were in midfield. And the back four pr pretty much almost picks itself to be honest. Shaw and obviously Juan Bissaka and uh, Lindelof and Maguire as the, as the centre back pairing. Now, it's taken a few minutes to get that first goal for Manchester United to break this deadlock down. But, but when we've got it, we've never really looked back in this game. We've been absolutely dominant, dominant throughout this match. Unlikely goal scorer, Wan-Bissaka, opening the scoring for Manchester United. Who would have believed that? That he would have been the one to open the scoring for Manchester United. Then Marcus Rashford getting himself a goal, an own goal in there as well. Ended up getting a Cavani goal as well before half-time, before he got substituted off the pitch. Uh, I mean, I, I expected there to be substitutions at half-time. I, I thought it would probably be Rashford and Bruno Fernandes that got substituted at half-time. But it, it was uh, obviously Cavani and Shaw that got substituted at half-time in this game. And I just didn't want to see any, any players picking up any sort of injury in this particular game. And then second half... Manchester United have got loads more goals. Uh, we could have also, I mean, VAR obviously in the first half uh, decided not to give Manchester United a penalty. And then second half, we've got loads of goals in this second half. Anthony Martial getting himself a brace. We've seen a Bruno Fernandes penalty. Uh, we've seen a Dan James goal. We've, we've seen it all in that second half. We have really have for Manchester United. And also there was a Scott McTominay strike in there as well. So, really pleasing for Manchester United. The only downfall is Mason Greenwood yet again hasn't scored himself a Premier League goal, which is worrying. Did did get an assist in the first half, but that is really, it is really worrying when th this team have actually ended up with, with two players sent off at the end of this game. And, with, and every fucker bar, probably Greenwood has actually got themselves a goal. Van der Beek obviously coming on in the second half as well, but second half was a bit like a, just a training ground game of football for Manchester United. But we move on to the next one. I'm not going to go around cheering and fucking ever, ever what, what not for, for a 9-0 victory when, this, when it was under these circumstances. Obviously, I'm pleased. Obviously, I would love Manchester United to win 9-0 and I wanted that. And we haven't, we haven't scored nine in a game for fucking God knows how long in a Premier League game of football. But it's just about getting the three points. That is the main thing. And some of them, late, the late winner against Wolves, the late winner against Southampton in the reverse fixture obviously feel so much better because we've grasped it at the end of a game of football as opposed to, to this game where it was all over at half time but you, you just want, I, I want to see this at times obviously we do we want Manchester United to win comfortably but the main aim of this was just to get the three points to get back to winning ways and obviously it's helped because Martial's got himself some goals Cavani's got a goal Rashford's got a goal so most of the goal scorers have got themselves on the goal, on the score sheet tonight. Bruno Fernandes has got two assists and a goal in the end. So overall for the forwards, apart from Greenwood, it has been a good good day at the office for Manchester United. 
And we move on now to the next game. So you couldn't ask for more than that. Who would have, who would have predicted another 9-0 another for Southampton hammering this evening? No one would have predicted that. But no one would have actually predicted the circumstances in which I'm not taking anything away from Manchester United. We've obviously been ruthless there and put a load of chances away because sometimes you see teams go down to 10 men and the other team doesn't capitalise nowhere near enough. But the fact that they've gone down to 10 men so early on in this game has really given Manchester United the, the, such an upper hand in this game. You don't know how, how much of an upper hand that is that early on. I mean, sometimes players get sent off in the second half and teams can cope to a certain degree and maybe not lose badly in games of football. But getting a guy sent off that early on in the game, that is just curtains for the team. It is so much, so much work for the team to do. Covering that extra man for, for 90 minutes of a game of football. But Manchester United have got the three points this evening. Really pleased with that. Now we can look and see what the other teams do. They're probably going to win Liverpool and Man City. But if they were to slip up, then that would be great for Manchester United. Because they both play each other on the weekend. So Manchester United just need to keep, keep winning games of football and see where it takes us come the end of the season. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Get in there. Manchester United have won this game of football. Nine goals to fucking nil. Who would have thought it? We haven't done that in so many years. We've scored at six in a game in fucking this season. We scored nine in a game in the Premier League. Records that haven't happened for a long fucking time for Manchester United in the Premier League. And we're still nowhere near what Manchester United should be. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And also share the video if you're watching it on Facebook. And I'll talk to you all again soon. See ya.